be remiss of us not to mention Felix Jones. This is a hell of a rise. Yeah, Felix Jones. I mean, uh, what a coaching career he's had so far. And um, he kind of turned to coaching. He was always a rugby nerd. Like, he always lived and breathed. He was always kind of obsessed with rugby, even when, when he was a player. But obviously with the injury, you know, uh, made that transition probably a little bit earlier than he would have thought. And he was thrown into an opportunity with Munster, obviously getting the exposure to Razi, South Africa. And, you know, a couple of World Cup gold medals later. What a career <laughs> yeah. he's had. And um, and it's it's not just like a career has been handed to him. He's kind of worked, worked hard for it. He's impressed in those environments by all accounts. Any of the messaging coming from them would be unbelievably positive about him and his work rate and his yeah. ability to understand and get his head around, around the video and the rugby. Uh, when you say he's a rugby nerd, are you not all rugby nerds in there, no? He's he's obsessed with it. He, he is different, isn't he? He's um he's he's a little bit of a psychopath, I would say. Felix Jones, there's something about him. He's just a bit obsessed. He's, he's not he's not quite as um, happy go lucky as the rest of us. Okay. He's not take it or leave it. He's obsessed with rugby. I spent a few hours in his company recently. We were going through some rugby specific stuff for two or three hours, I think, and he had the laptop out, and he was just a hundred miles an hour on rugby topic at that time. Mm. But his energy and passion that he brought to it for those few hours, I left the coffee shop thinking, she's I'd love to be a rugby coach. I'm, I, I really want to get back into like rugby now. I myself from Trimby's comments there. <laughs> yeah. no, we don't mean psychopathic. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Um, but that, that sort of obsessive nature is what you need to, to do to perform the role that he has. And mm. I remember Conor O'Shea telling me very early when he was still at Munster, and just a player, he was transitioning out. Um, Conor was in um, Harlequins at the time. He presented a sort of package of analysis to him about his players, and Conor said, immediately he could see the detail was there and the insight was there and it was quite remarkable he's had a phenomenal career mm. like a, a ridiculous career to this point and England have got a great one and um, you know if someone is going to be able to you know change things for for England if they listen to him they've got a chance yes well he's in as their defense coach at the moment